Earnest money, what is it? That's what we're talking about today, so don't go anywhere. Hi, my name's Jacqueline Krasuski. I'm a real estate agent with the Green Team Home Selling System in beautiful Warwick, New York. If you haven't already, not sure what you're waiting for, but please hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any videos. We talk about all things real estate and the Hudson Valley. So today we're talking about earnest money. Now keep in mind, this is specific to the area that I work in. So real estate is done different in different areas. So here in the Hudson Valley, along with Westchester, New York City, when a buyer puts an offer in on a property, we write up what's called a purchase agreement. It's a simple one-page document. It says how much money you want to put down, the mortgage that you're taking out, what type of loan it is, and are there any contingencies, right? We sign that, we send it off to the listing agent and see if um, we can strike up a deal. No money is exchanged until an actual contract that is written by an attorney. So in other words, this purchase agreement goes into place. You as the buyer then has a home inspection done. This is before you're under contract. Then we negotiate anything that needs to be done on that home inspection. Then the seller's attorney draws up the contract, sends it to the buyer's attorney. The buyers then go in with their earnest money, their deposit, put it down, sign the contracts. That money is kept in escrow by the attorney and is used towards the closing of the property. So now in different states, I know that money's put down right away, contracts are signed, then home inspection happens and they have a certain period of time to renegotiate should they need to. That is not the case here. So again, we do a purchase agreement that says what our earnest money will be. Then we do a home inspection, renegotiate anything we need to renegotiate. Then you go to a real estate attorney as the buyer, sign the contracts and drop off your earnest money, which again is used um, for part of your deposit or uh, closing costs. Again, real estate is different in all parts of the country. So if you're moving out of area, and especially out of state, check with a local realtor to see how real estate is done there so you're prepared on the process. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you've moved from one area to the other and how the transaction was different. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Krasuski. I'm a real estate agent with the Green Team Home Selling System in beautiful Warwick, New York. And if you haven't already, not sure what you're waiting for, hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any videos. And I'll stick my dog on you if you don't. Just kidding. Oh my gosh, every time I go to record.